Well, this channel has been wonderful and this year has been wild. I started this entire thing on a lark thinking nobody's gonna wanna watch this, maybe I can get a handful of people, but fuck it, I wanna make it, so I'm making it. And it's, it's growing. Things alive. It's alive. And since this is our year in review, I figured I should, you know, drink and be merry. Ooh, drink. We should make this a drinking video. This is now a drinking video. It's been a fucking minute since we did one of those. To the channel. Ugh, spicy. So what the hell are we gathered here today for in front of God and the literal demon that runs all of social media? Well, it's been a year. Okay, 10 months, but it's the start of the new year. It's close enough, so we're just gonna cheat and say it's our one year review. Look, it's the time, the time of season to be charitable, so be charitable and say it's been a year. Okay? Okay. Well, with it being New Year's and also kind of one year into the channel, I figured I'm gonna make some New Year's resolutions. I'm human, I'm likely to slip, and having literally a thousand people watching over me, making sure I don't, was fantastic encouragement. Resolution number one, respond more slowly. I am, well, emotionally charged as fuck. I'm in a glass case of emotion! I am emotionally charged as a human being. It's been useful as somebody who makes art, but it's also been something that, realistically, I should keep in check. So I'm gonna work on that shit. I'm gonna spend time this year focusing on making sure I am responding when I am in control and not responding when I am not. Kind of like how guns are only controlled bombs when you control them, emotions are only really controlled bombs when I'm in control of them, so I'm gonna take efforts to control them. You know, let's be best, or whatever the fuck that talking horse was trying to say, I, I honestly couldn't make out most of it. So, respond more slowly. All right, I'll drink to that. Oh, I'm already hating this. Competitions. I want to get back to training under pressure. I feel like I've been focusing on form and function, which is a nice way to say that my training has been slacking. I haven't been pushing myself the way that I should, and I know I can. So this year, I'm changing that in two ways. For one, I'm going to start training with timers far more than I do now. In fact, if I'm training, I am only going to be training against a timer. When I'm doing dry fire stuff, there are apps for that. And when I'm doing actual shooting, I have finally bit the bullet and picked up an actual proper timer. And I'm going to start training with speed and consistency in mind. But it's not just training. I want to shoot competitively. And there's no real way to do that other than, well, to fucking do it. Well, we're waiting. So this year, I'm going to enter as many competitions as I can. I'm going to show you the preparation process, and I'm going to try and build as many skills as I can along the way. I'm if I win, great, but the focus, at least this year, is going to be entering as many competitions as I can and building as many skills as I can, not so much winning every competition that I enter. Well, the competitions, all right. Oh God, it tastes like green. Why does green have a flavor? It tastes like if radiator fluid had terrible opinions about you. I wanna make more. I'm proud of the videos that I've made, but that's only a part of what I'm making. Uh, I'm an artist, I like painting. Uh, I haven't been painting as much as I usually do this year. I had a few fun projects with it, but I didn't really take time to just sit and paint it all and just produce paintings or, or really just sit and produce art for the sake of art. That's obviously a thing I need to sit on doing more to find time to be doing that. For another, I made five guns this year, which I'm proud of all of my builds, and I'm proud of the guns that I've made, but um... Now pump those numbers up, those are rookie numbers in this racket. I've got ideas for projects, multiple betas that have graciously let me in, and a whole slew of things to come, so definitely stay tuned. So, artistic shot. I mean, art is suffering, I guess. <laughs> Tastes like gas smells. Four, fight less. I don't know how much longer I have to live on planet Earth. There's a chance I'm not even up to my halfway point, but given my activism, 
what I've seen from the world and the direction everything seems to be going. Fuck, I might make it to 80, but there is a chance I'll catch a bullet before that. Life without risk isn't worth living. But, well, I think Stephen Fry said it best. I've only got an estimated um, 47 years left on this planet. I don't propose to waste any more of them in idle chatter with a confused old gas bag like you. <laughs> Fuck, I don't think I could say that better. Cheers to that, Stephen. Oh god, no. Nope. Oh, that's a taste. Oh, that's a taste. I don't know who needs to hear it, but last year's fucking over. It's a new year. It's a new chance. It's a new universe. Let's get grinding. Let's get making the world the way we want it to be. Let's make 2022 the year we make shit happen. If you've been digging what I do, I have a Patreon. Uh, everything drops a day early over there, and it really helps me, like, if you want to support me, that is really the best way to do it. It means a lot towards making the channel something that can last long term. But that's it for me. Happy New Year. Stay dangerous. Keep each other safe. And remember, moral doesn't mean legal, and Stonewall was a riot.